we are here with encampment with um, very defined demands, uh, demands that have come to life uh, due to multiple attempts of open dialogue with multiple uh, you know, authority figures at the university and community members. Um, we have even attempted to communicate with the university, um, sending them out our full demand list uh, and sort of our transparency of what we stand for on Monday. And we have not heard back, um, which has resulted in this encampment. Um, I, I bring this point up because uh, to point out that we are open up for, for dialogue. We were planning before this, but with the ground invasion in Rafa, uh, it has only become more imperative that we do protest, that we take a stand against Western imperialism and the ties that we have to Israel. This encampment is not only sort of leading up to the point of, of sort of no engagement or recognition from the other side in order to have a two-way dialogue, um, but it is partly inspired by Rafa. And on top of that, uh, we can recognize that there is no functioning university in Gaza or, um, or that part of Palestine. So, so because of that, we believe that it is our duty as students, faculty, and community members to represent those students that can no longer pursue higher education. As, as a Palestinian myself, I feel like these encampments have only brought more light to academic uh, institutions. Um, institutions that uh, per se have, you know, counted on student sort of trauma statements in order to get in it to an extent and, and sort of student efforts in social work and, um, and conducting social good uh, to be in a position that they're proud of. So I believe that um, these encampments are only bringing students together and helping educate uh, individuals of the community and other students alike. We will stay as long as it takes for the university to adhere to our demands. Free, free, free Palestine!